This is going to be easy three chord songs to play on the acoustic guitar. My name is Mike B and this is Campfire Guitar Style. Alright guys, so first things first here, head down to the description of this video, click on the link to get the tabs and the chord charts up in front of you. We've got a great PDF for this lesson, it's got diagrams for all the chords, definitely everything you're going to need to, uh, to nail this lesson. So I wanted to break down a beginner lesson for you guys here today. We're going to be doing three three chord songs that all use the exact same chords, E, A, and D. So the first one we're going to check out today is Wild Thing by the Trogs. Then we're going to get into Doesn't Remind Me by Audio Slave. We're going to finish things up with Gloria by them. So let's jump into Wild Thing by the Trogs. And in this song, we're going to learn the three chords. And after we get these chords down, the other two songs are going to come super quickly to you as well. So let's look at the very first chord of the very first song, A major. This is your A major right here. I'm going to break down a few different ways of fingering this song, but let's start off with this one right here. This is the best way to do an A chord, one finger. If you ever have an opportunity to do a chord with one finger, take it. You, a lot of people, you'll see this with three finger chords like this, and this certainly does work too, but definitely it, practice the one finger. It might be a little bit harder at first, but in the long run, it's going to make your life so much easier if you're able to grab a, an A chord with one finger. So here's what we do. You just take your very first finger, you're going to plant it across the second fret of the D string, G string, and B string. So this chord is no low E, but I've got the open A string, second fret on the D, second fret on the G, second fret on the B, and then on the top, you can either have the open high E or the high E muted. Either way, it's not a super important note in the chord, so you can drop it or let it ring through. If it's easy for you to flex your finger up like this, get that high E to come through, do it. If it's feeling difficult, it's totally okay to have that thing muted as well. So that's our A chord right there. Now, with all these chords, if this is the first time you're seeing this, here's how you get this thing down. Chords are all muscle memory. All you have to do is get muscle memory on this thing, and it's going to be no problem. You're going to be able to grab it faster than you can think of it. So check it out right here to get muscle memory. Stretch off the chord, stick the chord, strum the chord, say the name of the chord, A major. So Stretch off the chord, stick the chord. Strum the chord, say the name, A major. Stretch, stick, strum, say. Stretch, stick, strum, say. If you do this enough times with every chord, all of these are gonna be no problem for you. So, like I said, we're gonna break down a few different ways of fingering this one, but first, let's do it just one way first. So we've got, there's our A major right there. Now, the next chord we've got is D major. Now. D major is going to be this one right here. Very common chord shape. I've got my first finger on the second fret of the G string. My third finger or ring finger is on the third fret of the B string. And my second finger is on the second fret of the high E. And on this chord, you want to strum the D string down. Now, I know I'm saying you want to strum the D, the D string down, but if you accidentally hit the A string as well, it really doesn't sound bad. Aim for the bottom four, but don't let it mess up your timing. So let's do this here. Stretch, stick, strum, stick. Let's get a little bit of muscle memory on this thing. Stretch, stick, strum, D chord. Now with this chord, uh, I just wanted to bring up a quick note, because A, when we were doing this, it's kind of easy to land A because it's one finger, but with a D chord, which you've got three fingers here, you want to make sure you're not going like this when you stick the chord. You want to grab them all at pretty close to the same time. It doesn't have to be exactly the same time, but like pretty close to the same time. Even if you have to come in super slow like this, just establish muscle memory. Stretch, stick, strum, D major. Stretch, stick, strum, D major. Stretch, stick, strum, D major. Do that as many times as you need to until that's feeling easy. So we had A chord, D chord, one more chord of the day, and then we've got all the chords we're going to cover in this lesson. E major. One of the best chords you can play on the guitar. Check it out. We've got first finger, first fret, G string, second finger, second fret, A string, third finger, second fret, D string. And on this one, we're going to strum all six. So 
that's my E major right there. So let's go back and stretch, stick, strum, E major. Stretch, stick, strum, E major. Stretch, stick, strum, E major. Do that again as many times as you need to. All right, so those are the three chords of the day. A, D, and E. Now, just a heads up, if this is the very first time you're learning these chords, don't expect to nail this song in one sitting. This might take you a couple tries to totally nail this thing. It might be super slow at first, but that's totally fine. Take a couple days and practice it. Nothing comes easy. So here we go. We got an A major to start off. Let's just strum each chord once. So we get A major to start, to D major, E major, back to D major. So A, D, E, D. That's like the, the form of the song right there is those chords. So that's the first thing you want to get down. After you've done a few stretch stick strums on this, just work on the transitions. Don't worry about doing the strum pattern. Just do one strum on each chord and just get between each chord as fast as you can. After that, after you've got a bit of a hand and you're able to jump to each chord, you know, not as quick as I was necessarily doing it there, but a little bit quicker than you were first doing it, you try to put some strumming on. It sounds like this. So we start off two down strokes on an A. Now, when we get to the D chord, we do two quick strums. Hear the difference? So it's like A, A, D, D. So A is a little bit slower, right? A, A, D, D. Now we're gonna do the same thing from E to D. So we do two slower E's, E, E, up to two quick D's. So let's do that bar again. whole song, if we play it through a couple times, nice and slow, sounds like this. Okay, so let's talk about some alternate fingerings on this A chord. The D chord and the E chord, we're not going to change those at all. But there's actually three different ways you can play your A chord in this song. And you can choose whichever one feels easiest to you. So the first was the one I was originally teaching, which is the one finger A chord. A little bit harder to grasp off the bat, but in the long run, so much easier. Now, so that's method one. Now, here's the second method right here. You can do an A chord like this three fingers. I'm using fingers one, two, and three. Uh, I've got first finger, second fret D, second finger, second fret G, third finger, second fret B. An open high E and open A, just like before. So that is another option of doing the E. Now this kind of makes the A a little bit harder to grab. because You have to grab three fingers now, but getting from the, to the D, you watch my first and second finger there, they kind of like move together. It's like not like a super complicated movement, right? It's like they're, they're both there, they both just kind of jump down. Stay in a similar shape though. So that's option two on the A. Now option three is this right here. Now this is something that like, I never saw this until like YouTube guitar lessons started kind of becoming a thing. Nobody really did this one before. Uh, I see a lot of beginners doing this one now. It's, it's the same thing as the one last one we had, but it goes second finger, first finger, then third finger. Now this one can be nice, because check it out, when I get to my D, my, my first finger's already in the right spot. I don't actually have to move my first finger when I'm getting to that D. So that's the advantage to this one. And then getting from the D to the E, we kind of just slide the first back. So there are some advantages to doing the A like this, but I wanted to just give you my piece of advice on this one right here. Now, I see beginners play this chord. I've never actually seen anyone who is really good at guitar play their A chord like this. It seems like a lot of people like get this one going first as almost just like a little shortcut just to start playing guitar. And once their fingers have strengthened up a little bit, then they either do the one finger or this one right here. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. That's like, 
This way may feel easier, but like I never see any pros doing an A chord like this. It's very much a beginner thing. So just take that piece of advice and do whatever one feels easiest to you off the bat. But my, uh, my opinion would be definitely practice the one finger A. That's definitely the best method there. And it might take a little more practice at first, but like I said, it's gonna be easier in the long run. Okay, so here's the next one. Doesn't remind me by Audio Slave. Here's what it sounds like. right into the verse. You actually know all the chords already. The verse is just an E chord and an A chord. And on this one, yeah, I'm gonna be doing the one finger A the whole time. Remember, you can also do either of those other A chords, but I'm gonna stick to the one finger works better for me. So, we got E chord first here. And here's what we're gonna do in the right hand. We're actually gonna do kind of a cool strum pattern on this one. We go down, down, up, up, down, up. This is like probably the most famous strum pattern. It's in just hundreds of thousands of songs. Um, two downs, two ups, then down up. So let me just loop it a couple times here. Notice my right hand is not gonna change speed. So three, four. Down, down, up, up, down, up. That's one cycle through, let me do that again. Down, down, up, up, down, up. So let's try to do it two times through. Notice the loop there. It's like right after the last down up, we just go right back to the down at the beginning. So. All right, so that's the strum pattern right there. And that's exactly what we do for the first part. We just do it one time. So right after that first bar, this is where we get our A chord. So this one sounds like this, we go. So I, on the A chord, I just go down up. And then I jump to my E chord for an upstroke again. I go up, up, down, up. So the A to the E is down, up, 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 down, up. Time, down, up, 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 down, up. One more time. Down, up, 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 down, up. So on that E chord, you get two upstrokes in a row. That's kind of the main thing to remember. So the whole first line. So I hope you're doing good on that verse section. I'm gonna to jump to the chorus. So here's what the chorus sounds like right here. So we start off on E, four down strokes. Jump over to D, four down strokes. Pretty straightforward so far. Now when we get to this next bar, we go A chord to E. And check this out, we're gonna go on the A, one, two, punch. So we do two down strokes, and then our right hand comes in and you punch the strings just like this. Note where my, my pick is landing above the high E string right here. And that clapping sound is the metal strings crashing into the metal frets. So we get one, two, punch. And that's what you do on the E, you go down, 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 down. 
So it's four down strokes, but there's a little pause after the first one. Down, 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 down. So the whole second bar of the chorus. So that's the whole first line of the chorus. Let's do it nice and slow. And we do that line three times through, and then the very last, uh, sorry, the next line after that, we do just one time, which is. Four downs on the E, four downs on the D, one A. All right, and that's the whole tune right there. We do the, the first line of the chorus three times, and the next line just one time. So I hope you guys are making out well on that one, and I'm going to jump to the next one. So here's the last one we're going to do today. It's Gloria by Them. Now this one, as you can see, is a little bit faster. A few more transitions. You stay on each chord for not very much time at all. So we're going to talk about something really cool here known as the transition strum in one sec. But first, let's just get the chords. So we're going to start off on E on this one, and we go down, up, down, up. Sweet. Okay. So just, yeah, down, up, down, up on the E. Now, the next bar, we go down, up on D, and down, up on A. So we get down, up, down, up, and then down, up, and down, up. This song's pretty fast, and at full speed, there is no way you're going to be able to get to the D and the A chord fast enough, or even back to the E. So what we do is we do something called the transition strum, and this transition strum is going to be the key to nailing this one. So the very last upstroke of every chord, you're going to do this. You're going to strum the open strings and use that time to find the next chord. So on E, I'm going to go down, up down, and then the last up I lift off, actually strum the open strings, use that window of time to find the D, and then I've landed on the D, and at full speed, could you even tell I did it? No. It just sounds like I'm staying on the E the whole time. Our ears, there's this weird phenomenon our ears do where they only hear the beginning of a chord. The last little bit of a chord, or the last little bit of a bar, it's just... Straight over our head, our ears just grab the first little bit. So if that last little bit of the chord is just totally open, nobody's going to tell. And this isn't cheating. This is just the way the guitar is played. This has been happening for so many years that now we're almost expecting this sound when we play the guitar. So we get really slowly. Now, the D and the A, the same thing. We're actually going to go, so here's the D chord. I go down on the D, up on the open on the A, up on the open. So here's the whole thing nice and slow with your transition strums. A couple times through. Excellent. And at full speed. Awesome at full speed. It almost sounds better than, you know, immediately, immediately jumping to the chord. We get that. Actually, sounds kind of sweet. Another one other thing you want to make sure you're doing with these transition strums is that you're not going like this. You know, you're not pulling your hand way off the fretboard. You want to be just. I know when we're first working on it, I'm getting you to go like, way off, but actually you want to go, don't think about it as jumping off, but just jumping immediately to the next chord. 
to work on this, uh, I've got a few different methods I like to do with students. If you do just like this right here, you go E, transition, D. Just do that a couple times. E, transition, D. Work that one out, do the same thing with D to A. A back to E as well. I know you're gonna have to really fight your reflexes on this one. Your, your, your brain's gonna tell you to keep your fingers down, but you're just gonna have to pull them off. You're gonna have to just pull off that very last strum. It's gonna sound great. It's gonna be worth that effort. All right guys, so that's about all I wanted to talk about in today's lesson was those three chords, those three songs, got a whole bunch of new stuff for you to play with here so please do let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments section just post those as soon as you have them i'm here to help i want to make sure that you guys nail all three of these songs also hit that bell subscribe to our channel we're always releasing guitar lessons at least one a week for all of 2019 so definitely hit that bell keep in touch with us thanks again for watching i hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are i'll catch you in the next lesson